Can I first of all uh, thank you all very much for coming. We are here at one of the iconic sporting cathedrals in the world to launch Royal Mail's Football Heroes Special Stamps. I mean, it's, it's just a great honour. Yeah, you know, when I was a kid growing up, if somebody had said to me that one day you'd be fortunate enough to be on one of the Royal Stamps, you'd go, what? Uh, you know, you just can't believe it. So it's a fantastic honour to be involved with the people who are on that, those stamps and the, the type of players they are, uh, you know, and it's great to be here at Wembley today on the 150th anniversary uh, to launch it. We're delighted that the War Men have done this. It's a great tribute to football and really, really um, pleased in our 150th year this has happened. And you're quite right to see these players here today. Um, seven of the 11 players are actually here to see players like Sir Bobby Charlton and Dennis Law and Jimmy Greaves, all, all heroes of mine, uh, really is uh, absolutely fantastic. I had the privilege of growing up looking at these people. I was actually named after John Charles. My name is John Charles Brown Barnes and my father went to Sandhurst in the 50s, was an army officer and he, and he admired a colossus of a footballer uh, who played for Leeds United at the time and he decided to name his son after him. Um, he couldn't have believed that I would have been here with people like Bobby Charlton, Jimmy Greaves, or grew up in Jamaica, but knowing about them, you know, and of course watching the big match soccer it was called, looking at Jimmy Greaves and Bobby Charlton scoring goals, Gordon Banks making saves, I played with Brian Robson, but it's a tremendous honour even to be, not just to be on a stamp, to be even mentioned in the same breath as them. Yeah, you know, if your headmaster had said to you, Greaves, you're leaving at 15 years of age, you're leaving your school, and you'll appear on a stamp one day, you wouldn't believe him, would you? So uh, it's not something I've aimed for, but it's uh, very flattering and and I feel very privileged. Just something, and I just can't believe that it's happened. And, and I, I must thank the Royal Mail for, for, for doing this for us. It's, it's really something great. I don't think it looks like me at all now, but it looked like me when I was younger, yeah, so it's fine. This one behind me, is, I've got a moustache there. I've never, I've never grown one, and what happened was the Nations Cup when we were playing in Italy, and uh, Ray Wilson, the fullback, he was, he got a bit of a beard going, and so I said to him, "Look, Ray, shall we? What shall I tell you? What we'll do? You continue with your beard. I'll continue with my moustache until we get knocked out." <laughs> and that's what happened. And we, I think we got, got to the semi-finals. I think, yeah, we, no, yeah. And uh, so I went home with that beard, and the kids were frightened to death when they saw me. <laughs> But, but it's just something, and I just can't believe that it's happened. And, and I, I must thank the Royal Mail for, for, for doing this for us. It's, it's really something great.